what's up guys George here so in front of me is the brand new Asus stuff A15 which my friend had bought recently and this one that I specifically have right now has the Ryzen 7 5800Hz processor inside it coupled with the RTX 3050 GPU and it turns out that my friend who had bought this laptop isn't satisfied with the already existing 512GB SSD that's present in this one as well as the 8GB RAM so in this video we are gonna upgrade this laptop's RAM as well as the SSD and for that I've bought the crucial 1TB SSD and we also have a RAM an 8GB 3200MHz RAM which has just been delivered so uh, let's unbox it right now So here we have it, this is the crucial 8GB 3200MHz RAM. So here's the RAM, here's the 1TB SSD and to open up the back panel we have bought a screwdriver kit which costs around 130 rupees right now on Amazon. I'll provide the link for all of these in the description box below. So if you want to buy any of these you can uh, head over to the description box and you can find the links there. So this video is going to be a tutorial on how to upgrade your laptop's RAM as well as SSD. Let's open the back panel of this laptop and get straight into the video. So to open up the back panel of this laptop we have this screwdriver here. So this is the screwdriver that you're going to use to open up the back panel. As you can see there are plenty of screws here, one oh, no, located over here, 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 here and here. And one thing to note here is that in certain laptops there will be screws present underneath these parts too. So you also got to make sure that you remove these parts and you also unscrew those screws. But for now in this tough A15 model we only have screws that are clearly visible over here. So let's start with the one in the middle. Also one important thing to note here is that in some laptops there will be different sizes of screws present so you have to make sure that you don't align a different slot with a different screw that doesn't suit it. And like I said there will be different screws present at different parts of the laptop so uh, for example the ones that I have unscrewed so far are like this. But these screws that you see here require a different screwdriver tip. So you gotta change that before we unscrew this. So let's put this one back into place and choose a small one. So now, as we unscrewed all of these, let's take out the back panel. For this, you can use a prying tool if you have one. But now here we're just gonna, I'm just gonna use my hand and open this thing. So here remove the back panel. And importantly, when you are doing this, make sure that your hand isn't sweating like mine. Now, as you can see, this is the back panel of the laptop. Uh, we have the CPU fans here and the heat sinks over here. Uh, so this is the place where the CPU and the GPU are located. Okay, now here, this is the already existing 8 gigabytes 39 megahertz RAM that comes with this laptop pre-installed. And the RAM that we are gonna place is going to get right beneath this black cover. So now, let's see the cover and let's see the cover and this is RAM, it's the crucial 8GB 1300MHz RAM and also one important thing I want to add here is that these black covers that you see over the RAM slot and the SSD slot are meant to stay here. Uh, even if you remove them for replacing the RAM or for upgrading the RAM, you better place them back where they are because otherwise you might be prone to lose the warranty. So now let's install this 8GB RAM into this dim slot present over here. So for that, just gently pull this black cover and now as you can see that here this RAM is uh, separated by a slit uh, right it's not right in the middle as you can see here it's not symmetric so that's how we can find which for part of the RAM faces forward so now 
just gently pull this black cover up and make sure that the dim slot and the ram align to each other gently press it that's a click sound now that's it as you can see if you want to remove the ram again you'll have to do like this and then you can take out the ram so let me put it back into place So now we have successfully installed the RAM. Now it's time to put this crucial 1TB SSD into action. So here we have the one terabyte crucial SSD and the first SSD that already comes with this laptop is placed over here as you can see. So this is the first SSD that's placed over here. So now the additional SSD that we're going to install is going to take up this slot right here. Installing the SSD is similar to installing the RAM, but uh, before installing the SSD, you will have to remove this tiny screw present over here. If there isn't a screw present over here, then you can use this one, which comes with the SSD of your choice itself. So now let's install this one and just like installing the RAM you can see that there is a small slit present here now we can also find the same pattern over here just have to match the patterns press it gently and then push it like this now So now we have successfully upgraded the SSD as well as the RAM and when it comes to upgrading your laptop it is very important to check in the first place that your laptop that you are going to upgrade is compatible of the upgrade. For example this laptop over here is capable of getting upgraded up to 2 terabytes of SSD storage as they were given 2 SSD slots one over here and another over here. This is an M.2 NVMe SSD slot and in this laptop we cannot place a normal SATA SSD as it is obvious that there is no SATA SSD slot that's present over here. So now we are completely upgrading this laptop so it's time to put the back panel into place and turn this thing on. For the top A15, specifically this one, these two screws are the largest ones, these are of different type and these screws over here, these are of different types and these two, these are the smallest ones and these are of different types. So you have to make sure you put the right one into the right place. So now we have placed all the screws in the right places. So now as we have successfully completed installing the RAM and the SSD in this laptop, to check whether they are recognized by the PC, press Ctrl, Shift and Escape which will open the Task Manager window. Here go to the Performance tab and under the Memory section you can see that it shows 16GB RAM now. So here you can see that it shows two of two slots are being used. And now this is the SSD that we have installed. See 932GB which is uh, quite close to the one terabyte memory that you have installed so you might think that uh, the process is complete but you have something yet to be done so the RAM has been completely installed no problem with that but when you go to the file manager file explorer to check for to check for the one terabyte SSD that you have installed it won't show it here because that SSD one terabyte stays as an unallocated memory so for that you have to go to the start menu right click on that and go to disk management 
and here you can see that the one terabyte storage is unallocated means you have to right click on that click on new simple volume click on next next and here uh, you can choose to uh, name it with a letter like you know choose d choose d here so choose letter here i'm just going with e press press next next and click on finish and now in just a few seconds it gets completed now when you go to that window you can see here that the one terabyte memory has been allocated and it shows right here anyways now you have successfully installed the ram as well as the ssd so that's it for this video guys i hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching and if you have any queries feel free to ask that in the comment section below thanks for watching again and i'll see you in the next one bye